Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama From Scratch. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to decorate your Christmas tree on a budget. I wanted to share with you how I decorated my Christmas tree this year and show you different ways that I use different elements from ornaments to picks to ribbon as well as different textures that I use to really uplift my tree and really make it look a little higher end than it is. You can take a really basic tree that maybe costs you $60 and make it look like it's a thousand dollar tree just by adding different elements to it and I want to share those tips with you today. So I hope that you guys do enjoy this video and find it helpful. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. That way they can decorate their tree this holiday season on a budget as well. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and become part of my family here. So I really love to inspire and motivate you to unleash your creativity on a budget. And for this Christmas season, I'm sharing tons of decorating videos as well as DIY decor ideas. That way you can decorate your home. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is decide what type of tree do you want. Do you want to do real or do you want to do fake? Both of them have their benefits, so decide on that. The next step you're going to want to do is depending on if you have a real or fake is you're going to want to fluff the tree. A real tree might be harder to fluff, obviously, because you can't manipulate the branches. But for this tree, this is a fake one. This one is actually from Walmart, and I actually like the longer stems on this one. Now the branches are a little bit on the weaker side. They can't hold a ton of weight on them. Once you're done fluffing your tree, the next thing I like to go in is with ribbon. Ribbon is a great way to decorate a tree. It fills in a lot of those gaps that are in your tree, but it also adds a lot of elements and it's just absolutely beautiful looking. So this year I'm doing a more of a rustic glam look. So I got just plain burlap ribbon. This is wired. Definitely get wired ribbon if you can. It definitely is a game changer. And then I also got this really pretty rose gold one that is very sparkly. So the two of them mesh really well together. Um, I would say stick to one element of each of them. Don't do two glitzy ribbons, just choose one. You can always just use one ribbon on your tree as well. So one way to go in with a ribbon is to take your ribbon and start at the very top of your tree. And you're gonna kind of tuck it in there and kind of lock that in place. And then you're gonna kind of go down and you can look for it uh, like an open gap here and again, fluff your tree as you need to. And then you're just going to tuck that in and have it billow out a little bit for you. And then you're gonna take that again and then you're gonna kind of just tuck this in to the tree, okay? So you're gonna make kind of nice big loops in the tree. And then you're just gonna keep going down with that. sparkly one I was telling you about. I could add that right on top of my burlap one, which is flat looking, to add a little bit of glam, or you could add it separately down the middle between the two, so you could alternate it. Flat, glam, and then flat, and then glam again. It's really um, kind of up to you. Always fun to add different textures to your tree and picks are a great way to do that so I like to have a variety of different looks for them so I'm going to be using this frosted lamb's ear and I'm just going to use it again in spots that have bigger holes first and kind of fluff them in there picks do not have to stick out really far from your tree at all they can just be a small element and again they're adding a different depth of color to it also with picks, I don't like to run it down straight down in the same line. I like to kind of work in that zigzag motion. I think that works really well for ornaments as well as picks do too. A lot of different things that you can use for a tree topper so you can use a regular star if you want to you can add picks to the very top and have that flowing out um, I like to keep it fairly simple um, because it is the top of the tree and I don't want it to be overpowered so I'm actually going to be using this really large poinsettia up at the very top of the tree and again I'm not going to put the pink ones next to the pink ribbon I'm going to keep those more towards the burlap ribbon since it's a flatter tone and that way you get a little bit of sparkle in there as well. I 
those Dollar Tree ornaments that have that mirror and the glitter on them, which I think are really pretty. Again, I like the different shapes they offer in these because I think that it just really draws your eye into the tree. tree looks absolutely beautiful right now it definitely has that glitz glam look to it which I think is stunning um, and of course we warmed it up a little bit having the little bit of rose gold and a little bit of the red in there so it wasn't just all silvers and golds so I definitely like a little pop of color and I might change it a little bit adding pops of red to it uh, for the Christmas home tour that you guys will see on the 26th but for now I'm gonna leave it quite like this I do have this garland that I got from the Target dollar section um, and so I thought this would be kind of nice because this brings in a little bit more of that rustic glam look to it. So I'm just going to take this and maybe kind of have this cascade downward a little bit, kind of locking this in and then I'll kind of weave it into the uh, ornaments that I already have on there. Want to say hi over there? Say hi to everybody. Another way that you can apply ribbon to a tree is to take it in one area and you're going to kind of wrap it around the tree. I know a lot of people like to do this um, and it just depends on the kind of look that you're going for. should be a wrong way of doing it you just got to find the style that works best for you the next idea is to take two different ribbons and you're going to cut them at two different lengths so I'm going to take my flat ribbon um, and cut that one longer than my sparkly ribbon now you could leave these straight edged like I have here or you can cut V's in them just by you know cutting um, at an angle and then having that um, angled look which I think is really nice now, all you have to do is you could cinch these together and put a little tie around this, but all you really need to do is just twist it because it's wired, so it'll stay. And then you have almost like a bow. Then you're just gonna take your ribbon and you're just going to tuck that into the tree. And what that does is now is it kind of cascades down and then you can always pinch it a little bit together because it's wired and manipulate the way it looks a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed coming Christmas tree decorating with me today and got lots of helpful hints in there. It doesn't matter what color scheme you're going for, you can make your tree look absolutely stunning for this Christmas season and I hope you guys will share those pics with me on Instagram and tag me in them that way I can see how you decorate your tree. I really love to inspire and motivate you here so be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you haven't done so already, check out the other decorating playlists and DIY decor ideas I have for this Christmas season. There are a couple playlists linked down in the description box below if you do go watch next. I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.